Yo, what's up, the business? Or is that LA business? Um, I'm. <laughs> no. Cut. Definitely. I'm uh, Marquis Scott from Remote yes. Pro. My specialty is animation. And. How long have you been dancing for? I've been dancing for 17 years. I sound like It's like, you know what I I've been dancing for 17 years. This is pretty much all I do. This is my career, this is my life. Um, I have a girlfriend, fiance. Very complicated. But she also dances, so like my life is pretty much surrounded by dance. Um, it's funny because the same night that I met Brian is the same night that I met my fiance. And the funny story with that is she's also a dancer and we're planning on having our, our wedding in our wedding reception probably in a dance studio and our wedding is gonna be dance theme, you know, so there's going to be competition tickets instead of wedding brochures or whatever you call it. Um, that's pretty much it though. I am 29 years old. I was born in Inglewood, California. And then my, my uh, father was in the military, so we did a lot of traveling. I moved to Indianapolis after that where I was raised. I went to high school uh, in Indiana. And that's where I first learned about dancing was at a local skating rink. I went out and I saw a circle there out there battling. I just hopped in there. I was like, yeah, this is the thing to do. I'm going to hop in there. And then I got embarrassed by all my friends was laughing at me because I got maxed. But ever since then, I didn't, I didn't stop dancing. I just kept at it, practicing and going over my moves and stuff so that the next time I'd be ready for the circle. And then I would go up there time after time and I would keep getting better. But after I graduated high school, I joined the military and then I left. I obviously left Indianapolis. Uh, I was stationed in San Diego, California, um, in the Navy on the USS Constellation as an aircraft carrier. Good. A population of like 5,000 people, so it was like a little city on the water or whatever, but did a lot of traveling with that, and I was still doing my dancing while I was in the military. I used to get in trouble a lot for dancing when I'm not supposed to be. But the reason I love dancing so much is because, the reason is because Dancing pretty much brought my life where it's supposed to be and showed me who I was, you know what I'm saying? Because before, I was pretty much, didn't really know what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an architect. I wanted to be a chef. I wanted to be a basketball player. And then, all of a sudden, I'm a dancer. And it all made sense, you know what I'm saying? So, I ended up getting out of the military and pursuing my dance career. Once I got out of the military, I moved to Atlanta, where I started entering competitions to get better with my craft. And then I ran into Brian Gaynor, Mr. Chibi over there at a local competition. It would be always me or him in the finals. Sometimes I would win, sometimes he would win, but uh, we just kept going back and forth. And then we met uh, Julius. I slide, I mean, I glide. <laughs> And I started training him, and we worked with his craft, started doing shows and stuff together. But not as remote control, though. We had, we were just doing it as the both of us. So I kind of took him under my wing or whatever. Electric beat magicians. <laughs> and that didn't work, so we ended up founding the name and the concept remote control with the Argo. And here we are, remote control. I'm going to um, play a little dance clip for you so you can see how I've progressed in my 17 years of dancing. Thank you, tune in. I am nonstop from remote control. Peace out.